Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sutar and today we are going to learn about uh, partial order relation. Now in this today's session, we will discuss uh, what is a partial order relation, what is a post set and some of the examples. Okay, so first let us understand what is a partial order relation. So let us understand the definition. Now let capital R be a relation in a set A. Okay, then R is said to be a partial order relation on A if and only if. Uh, the first one uh, R has to be a reflexive relation now what is a reflexive relation so that is for every A belongs to A this A is related to itself or that means A is related to A or this ordered pair A A belongs to R okay so the first step or the first uh, condition is R has to be a reflexive relation second R is an anti-symmetric relation now what is an anti-symmetric relation so what is the condition so if a b belongs to r and b a belongs to r then a and b both has to be same okay so a equals to b or in other words a b belong uh, if a is related to b and b is related to a then a and b has to be same so this is anti-symmetric relation and the third one so r has to be a transitive relation now what do you mean by transitive relation that is if a b belongs to r and b c belongs to r then a c this ordered pair a c has to be belongs to r or in short if a is related to b uh, b is related to c then a and c, uh, then a and c has to be related so uh, for partial order relation uh, the relation uh, has to be a reflexive relation an anti symmetric relation and also a transitive relation now what is the main difference between this equivalence relation and partial order relation so in equivalence relation r has to be reflexive symmetric and transitive whereas in this uh, partial order relation r has to be reflexive and anti-symmetric and transitive relation okay so let us discuss example now the question is uh, let capital n be a set of natural numbers we all know that so and r is a relation defined on the set capital n s it is defined as like this uh, this set of all a b such that uh, we all know what is this notation a divides b now a is related to b this if and only if a divides b so this is the relation now show that this is a partial order relation okay so for every a belongs to capital a for partial order relation the first step is it has to be a reflexive so for reflexivity this uh, a divides a so that means a divides itself so that means a, a belongs to the given relation so hence r is a reflexive relation as every number divides itself okay belongs to r so it is a reflexive relation now for a b belongs to n uh, for this uh, anti-symmetricity okay let us take two points a b and both belongs to n so for a b belongs to n if a is related to b let us consider if a is related to b b is related to a then both are same okay so if a is related to b so we are assuming that a is related to b and b is related to a then this a divides b and b divides a by the definition okay now and both are in natural numbers so if a divides b and b divides a then both are same now you can check for any numbers belongs to set of natural numbers so both are same so that and a b belongs to n so hence r is an anti-symmetric relation and for the third one for transitivity we need to have three points so let a b c belongs to n so let us assume if a is related to b and b is related to c then we need to check uh, a is related to c okay so if a is related to b so that means a divides b and b is related to c so that means b divides c then we can say that a divides c you can check for any numbers for example 2 divides 4 4 divides 8 so 2 divides 8 so a divides c and it is uh, true for any numbers belongs to n so a is related to c so hence r is a transitive relation so since it is reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive so it is a partial order relation now uh, let us discuss uh, another example uh, question is s equals to 1 2 3 and uh, p of s now what is p of s that is a power set of s and obviously it contains two raised through uh, three elements here we have three so two raised to three that means eight elements so that is five uh, singleton one two three then 1 2 2 3 1 3 and 1 2 3 now r is a relation defined on a set p of s now uh, a is related to b if and only if the relation is given a is a subset of b 
then show that it is a partial order relation on p of s okay the set is given p of s then and the relation is this subset relation so first we will uh, again uh, check whether it is a reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive so we know that every set it is a subset of itself okay so therefore a is a subset of a itself so hence it is a reflexive relation so r is a reflexive relation now let a is related to b and b is related to a this is for anti-symmetricity so if a is related to b and b is related to a let us assume so uh, then we can say that a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a so by basic subset relations we know that if both are subsets of each other then both the sets are same so then we can say that this a equals to b okay so hence it is an anti-symmetric relation for the third one let a uh, is related to b and b is related to c uh, so that implies by the definition a is a subset of b and b is a subset of c okay so uh, again by the property a has to be a subset of c just correct it here a is a subset of c so hence a is related to c so we are done so hence it is a transitive relation why because a is related to b b is related to c then a is related to c so it is a transitive relation so since it is uh, reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive so we can say that it is a partial order relation uh, note the relation this less than or equals to it is a partial order relation on the set of real numbers okay and in same manner the relation greater than or equals to it is also a partial order relation on the set of real numbers now let us discuss important topic what is opposite that means partial ordered set now let capital a be any non-empty set and r be a relation and uh, obviously it has to be a partial order relation on a set a okay now a set a along with or together with this partial order relation is called a partial ordered set or in short it is a post set and this ordered pair this a r okay see this a r is a post set so it is simple the set has to be a non-empty and a relation defined on the set okay it has to be a partial order relation okay then just together with it is a post set uh, examples uh, s uh, is a non-empty set and p of s we just discussed it is a power set of s then the relation the subset relation it is a partial relation on the set p of s so hence this p of s that is the set and a relation the relation is this subset relation it is this together known as a post set or simply partial ordered set now the next uh, example if a is related to b if and only if this a divides b it is also a partial order relation on the set of natural numbers so hence this set that is the set of natural numbers and the relation that is this device relation it is also a post set note uh, this relation less than or equals to it is a partial order relation on r okay now hence uh, generally this less than or equals to it is used to denote relation on a set a as partial order relation and this a is less than or equals to it is a post set. just it is a post set. let us discuss example uh, draw the diagraph for the following relation and determine whether the relation is reflexive, symmetric, transitive and anti-symmetric and is it a post set? Okay, uh, the set is given uh, A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so 1, 2, 8 is given and X is related to Y whenever this Y is divisible by X so simply X is uh, X divides Y okay so the solution is uh, here we have given A equals to from 1 to 8 so 8 elements are there now we need to check the reflexivity, symmetricity, transitivity and anti-symmetricity and also we will conclude whether it is a poset or not okay so the relation is r equals to this how see uh, each and every number divides itself so 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 up to 8 it will be there and then 1 divides each and every number so 1 2 1 3 1 5 up to 1 it will be there then 2 divides 4 so 2 4 2 6 and 2 8 will be there then 3 divide 6 so 3 6 will be there then 5 uh, then 4 divides 8 so 4 8 will be there and that's it okay so these many entries will be there in the given relation now here r is a reflexive how because uh, we know that each and every number divides itself so for every a belongs to a this a 
the ordered pair a is related to itself or uh, to be precise it divides itself so it is a reflexive relation now is it a symmetric relation uh, no it, it is not a symmetric relation so if, uh, if it is not a symmetric relation then we need to have a counter example so can you give it yes uh, you can see that see 1 2 belongs to r so that means 1 divides 2 so 1 divides 2 so 1 2 belongs to r but for symmetricity what we need to check if a is uh, related to b then b has to be related to a okay so here you can see that 1 2 uh, belongs to r so that means 1 divides 2 but 2 does not divide 1 so that means this ordered pair 2 1 has to be there for uh, proving the symmetricity but here it is not the case so uh, you can see that 2 1 pair is not in the given relation so hence it is uh, not symmetric relation okay now third one uh, it is is it a transitive relation yes it is a transitive relation you can check for any pairs okay uh, let us discuss see 1 divides 2 and 2 divides 4 so 1 2 2 4 so 1 4 has to be there it is there yes it is there and in similar manner you can check for any pairs now is it an anti-symmetric relation yes it is an anti-symmetric relation because divides relation it is an anti-symmetric relation so you can check for any numbers now what will be the diagraph see for diagraph we have eight points so just consider eight points okay one two three four five six and seven and eight now what is the relation we are, we are not writing it okay so we are just directly uh, drawing the diagraph so we have taken all the points now see each and every number divides itself so there has to be a loop okay so 1 divides 1 2 divides 2 3 divides 3 4 divides 4 5 divides 5 6 divides 6 7 divides 7 and 8 divides 8 so that's it this 8 pairs are done now just consider 1 fix 1 now 1 divides each and every point okay so 1 divides 2 so 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 and 1 8 okay so this uh, many edges will be there now just go for 2 okay so 2 divides 4 2 divides 6 and 2 divides 8 so 3 edges will be there this 2 4 2 6 and 2 8 then 3 just take 3 now 3 divides 6 okay so 3 6 will be there fine now take 4 now 4 divides 8 so this uh, 4 8 has to be there this 4 divides 8 so 4 8 now 5 does not divide anything 7 does not divide anything 6 and 8 so that's it so this will be the diagram okay thank you